What is it, 007? Did you intercept the research? No. The researcher is dead. But I've got the name of the buyer. Go on. Pomorov. Stefan Pomorov. I've got him. Russian businessman. Nothing flagged, no police record. No unusual connections. According to the immigration data, he's in Monaco, due to leave on a flight to Moscow tonight. I'm sending you his picture and file. Got it. Let's get in touch with our best contact in Monaco. I'm bringing up the list now. See if he can stall Pomerov from leaving and have him meet me at the airport. Of course. Good. I'll be on the next flight out. James. I almost didn't recognize you. I'm sorry, have we met before? I think once. Something in England. Nicole Hunter. My friends call me Nikki. Nicole Hunter. You're the jewelry designer. I've been called worse. It girl, socialite. Well, it's nice to see you, Nicole. I'm sure you've got a plane to catch. Actually, M sent me. Interesting cover. But not an unpleasant surprise. Shall we go? The car's over there. Nice car. It's a friend's. Would you like to drive? I feel much safer with a man behind the wheel. So what can you tell me about Pomerov? Oh, he's such a lech. But he's kind of sweet for your basic Russian oligarch. He owns oil wells, diamond mines, and his own 737 with gold-plated fittings, of course. How do you know him? Sweetie. There are only six people worth dating in the world, and I've probably gone out with half of them. Turn here. Okay. The truth is, he supplies the chemicals used to alloy the gold and silver in my line of jewellery. And he's been after me to open a boutique in the casino he just bought in Monaco. He bought the casino? Mm-hmm. Another trinket on the must-have list for oligarchs. After a supermodel wife. So, I got him to delay his flight back to Siberia. That's why he keeps the wife at his headquarters, so she can't spend all his money. And we're going to meet in the boardroom, which should give you enough time to get into his office and break into his safe. Well done. So how did you... End up in bed with MI6? Well, that's one way of putting it. Darling, it's the perfect cover. Fashion shows, photo shoots, store openings. I get to travel the whole world, and nobody pays any attention. Emma approached you? Not exactly. Well, how not exactly? Well... There was this little tax problem a few years ago. A little tax problem? And a small customs problem involving some diamonds. So that's how a girl from the society pages ends up working for MI6? Yes, James. But believe me, when necessary, I can be very discreet. You can drop me off in front of the casino. I'm going to put on my war paint before the meeting. I'll text you on the cell phone to let you know when we're almost finished. Just the perfect place to watch the fireworks. Wow, Alright, James, Look I'm in. You. Pomerov's coming down to meet me. Good, I'm heading through the guards as now. Turn on your tracker. I'll home in on your signal. Hang on. Okay, it's on. Right. Now make sure you keep Pomerov busy. If he sees anything unusual, he'll lock down the casino. Understand? Don't worry, James. I know how to handle a man like Pomov.
Bravo team, what's your 20? This is Bravo, position at sector 14B. Ah! Ah! Alpha teams are ready to start watch. 10-4, Charlie team standing down. Eyes open tonight. We've got orders to make sure we patrol the gardens. Understood. Squad commanders, ensure your teams are in position. <laughs> Make sure you watch over this area. You know what National Day is like. There's always some drunk tourist who tries to sneak in here. Yes, sir. Yeah! <laughs> Let's move it. Finish your cigarette and start your patrols. Sir. Anything to report? Nothing, sir. But I'm surprised Pomerov's asked for all these patrols. It's dead tonight. Pomerov didn't get to be Pomerov by taking chances. But do you think it has something to do with that Chinese guy he met with? I heard it didn't go well. That's not your problem. Your job is to keep your eye on the gardens. James. James. Pomerov's still not here. What should I do if he doesn't show up? Stick to the plan, Nicole. Stay calm. He may just be late. It's critical that you make this work. Okay. I'll do my best. I've got to go. Come in, Bravo. Request update. Bravo team. Just finished sweep of Area 12. Nothing to report. Then for Bravo. Move to Sector 3F and initiate patrol. Understood. Bravo is moving to 3F. Delta squad, what's your current? Delta team here, manning post at sector 2. <laughs> Bravo team, what's your 20? This is Bravo, position at sector 14B. Charlie, what's your location? Charlie is on route to 5S now. Patrolling the perimeter, nothing to report. What? Yeah! <laughs> Come in, Bravo. Request update. Bravo is stationed in 12S. All <laughs> Right, I'm gonna finish my smoke, then I'm on a break. Don't work too hard. You get eyes on the boss's business associate? Yeah, guess being a Russian billionaire has its upside.
Charlie, what's your location? Charlie is en route to 5S now. Patrolling the perimeter, nothing to report. Bravo team, what's your 20? This is Bravo, position at sector 14B. Bravo team, what's your 20? This is Bravo, position at sector 14B. Something's there. <laughs> He's dead! Distracted while I find you. Okay, James, but wait, he's coming. Seven, you're going to need a key code to get past this door. It appears the code has been divided between three different guards in the casino. Each one has only a small piece of it. I'm marking their locations on your smartphone now. Scan their access cards to compile the full code and access the lift. down, 007. Himself is playing. He lost the what was that? <laughs> That's another one, Bond. That's it, 007. 
You've got all the data necessary to access Pomerov's lift. You won't be able to hack that door, 007. It's on its own subsystem. You'll have to find another way in. And what else do you need from me? is seductive. But how will your figure stand up to the light of day? Stefan. How much, Nicole? You of all people should know, dear Stefan. You can't hit a jackpot without putting down a few chips. No risk, no reward. What's this? That is your golden ticket. Is this right? It is oh so right, Stefan. And what else do you need from me? Just the word, yes. the nature of this research. I told you. We were investigating anthrax and smallpox to come up with antidotes that could be used in the field in the case of a biological attack. And there was no way to militarize them? To turn them into weapons instead of cures? No. No? So why are these documents in code? I told you. I was working at home. What is the password for the USB drive? Tell me the key to crack the code. Stop! Stop! I'll tell you. Thank you. Get them out of here! Package secure. Take your... Bring it around to the front. What are you going to do? I'll see if I can tip the odds in our favor.
James, I've got the car in front of the casino. Where are you? I'm on my way. Get ready to move. See if this is dry enough for you. What are you drinking? Same thing. Straight. I was never one for girly drinks. Bond, are you there? Yes, Em. Right here. Nicole, do you mind if 007 and I speak privately for a moment? This is a need to know. Of course. No problem. We can talk. What did you find out? We've translated all the documents you photographed in Pomarov's office this afternoon. It appears that most of them were invoices for highly sophisticated chemical manufacturing equipment. They were to be delivered to a defunct chemical refinery he's recently brought back online in Siberia. Makes perfect sense. They tortured Tedworth, the researcher, for the code to his bio-research formulas. He was working on anthrax and smallpox antidotes for troops in the field but they could just as easily be weaponized. That's what we're afraid of. No, that's what the whole world is afraid of. You've got to get there. Confirm what we think he's up to and stop him. Perhaps Miss Hunter can help you facilitate this. Yes, I'll talk to her. Good. Good luck, 007. You finished? I have to take a look at Pomarov's refinery in Siberia. Em thought you might be able to help facilitate things. I'm gonna need a flight ground transportation and local contact. Wait, wait, not so fast. I told Pomrov I'd get back to him about his business proposal. So it's the perfect cover to get the two of us into the refinery. The two of us? M said facilitate, not the company. Well, how do you think I'm going to get you to Siberia? Oh, let me guess. A friend of yours owns a plane? May I speak with Rudolph, please? Why am I not surprised? <laughs> You're going to love it. It's got a shower a wine cellar, and the most unbelievable circular bed. Yes, I'll hold. What? What's that look for? You'll be enjoying all that stuff alone. I'll be in the cockpit flying the plane.